the super freak was sitting here caressing this projector. I'm not kidding, dude. Right before we started rolling, he was like sitting there just caressing his new freaking laser projector. <laughs> it reminds me of like Predator or something, or Alien. I don't know. It's awesome. I got to tell you, man, that, I mean, without even turning and going to the image, we'll, we'll get an image in a minute, but this has got a, got a presence. It's a good looking piece. You know, kudos to the Epson Design Crew for yeah. coming up with a really good looking case, but Hey, really was I know you do well <laughs> yeah but let's say this uh, what's going on inside here is really truly a, a freaking laser so let's talk about what this does for the consumer as far as lamp life and hours and picture quality yeah it's a it's a it's an amazing uh, accomplishment it's taken frankly a number of years to accomplish this we We've been producing three LCD reflective uh, technology. Remember, we're the makers of three LCD technology, so three chip, three LCD technology. Uh, but most of our projectors are transmissive technology. These are the first reflective technology projectors um, that we've come out with. So these are three LCD reflective. It's a little different than the liquid crystal on silicon projectors that other manufacturers have. This is liquid crystal on quartz. If you remember, Seiko Epson is our company, so. I've Seiko, heard of those guys, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Seiko kind of made, had his foundation in quartz. We have our substrate in quartz, kind of cool. Um, but, By the way, I want to appreciate the watch you gave me for Christmas. From yeah. the, uh, <laughs> That's right, I'll get you one of those, no problem. Um, a little shameless plug there. Yeah, clearly, clearly I'm getting a watch for him for Christmas. So, so yeah, so liquid crystal and quartz, we call it three LCD reflective, but what's cool about it is we're combining that with dual laser light output. So. Um, the, this is a lampless design. It's 30,000 hours, uh, rated for 30,000 hours. So, uh, real, real quick perspective, 30,000 hours is essentially turning the projector on, say Monday, and then turning it off three years later? Something like that. Yeah. I haven't done, done the math, but with, with normal usage, even an a avid user, you're going to have this until the holographic uh, TVs come out yeah. sometime in 2042. Yeah, so you're, you're okay on time. That's one of the exciting things about this. Um, but it's now, the, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but, uh, but it doesn't dim, right? I mean, it's always a consistent... It dims. The, 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 uh, the light uh, sort of degradation over time is much different. Yeah, so you get a really, really strong image for the life of the product. I think the more important, that's very important actually, but the other stuff that, that gets me all excited about it is again, you combine three LCD reflective technology, which also already gives you really great black levels and grayscale and everything else, with this laser, and you get these incredible uh, black levels. And, and part of it is because, you know, we've always used an auto iris, which works great. That's why we have great selling projectors on the other on the other side here, but th that requires that you have these sort of barn doors that 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 close and open with really great tolerance to create very deep black, it's called ultra black, and it accomplishes these six hundred thousand to one contrast ratio numbers. With laser, you have complete control over your light source, instantaneous complete control. The way we articulate it is, it's zero lumens in full black. So there was a four K content that we were showing earlier in the in the booth where you know, it goes to dark and the room becomes pitch black, even though the, that, that, that engine is still running. Now let's so just touch exciting. on that for just a second, because think about what we're talking about here. It, a projector is essentially a light bulb. Mm -hmm. So to be able to produce an absence of light while using a light, that's hard to do. So the fact that you, I mean, that's, that's remarkable. Yeah. A true absence of light can only be done by not having it there. Yeah. Right, so that's this is a big groundbreaking kind of thing going on. So I don't want to just glaze over the fact that we're making true black together, especially when you put that with a black diamond screen. With it's a black screen, man, there's there's no better blacks, right? These are powerful light outputters too. They, I mean, they're not as they're they're for dedicated theater rooms, but they can handle big screens. We have it in the room right now, and it's got an 11 foot screen, and it is. It's, it feels like a light cannon because in fully calibrated, it's THX certified, ISF calibrated, everything else. In its fully calibrated mode, um, it's still outputting some huge light on an 11 foot screen. Um, so it's, it's 1500 lumens is its maximum light output, but, uh, but it really, in a dedicated theater room, it really pops well. So it's an exciting product um, when you combine all of those elements. And- uh, Now let's talk a little bit about the fact it can do 235, correct? It can. So these have um, the intelligent lens memory or 10 uh, lens position memories. Uh, so it's... Uh, it says it's so nonchalantly. Yeah, it's got like 10 position yeah. memory, you know, yeah, I can do, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so it can do like 235, 240, et cetera. Um, and it's very smooth and very quick. That, that, that lens, because uh, these are our first... Um, you know, mechanical lenses, we usually have the, the, the lenses are shifted um, manually. And those lenses were awesome. Those are the Fujinon lens assembly with the widest horizontal and vertical lens shift. But now we've 
put those Fujinon lenses in, in, a, in a chassis where we can actually maneuver them very quickly. So if you get to see it, and we'll maybe do a video with you. Yeah. It is so smooth. If it was moving on that Black Diamond 235, it's instantaneous, man. It's so cool. Yeah. This is actually a great combination for a Black Diamond um, Zero Edge 235 aspect ratio screen because we're not dealing with any um, extra lenses that sometimes, sometimes can cause distortion and bowing in the image. With this projector on our Zero Edge, we can literally give you 235, 16 by 9, no moving parts. No drapes dropping in front of the unused portions of the screen. No motorized contraptions moving in front of the lens. No shaking of a uh, of a, um, of, a of, of the with a, it's just lens memory. So it's a beautiful way to get the best of both movies and television because you know a lot of people don't think about the fact that the director did it you know, pick the 235 aspect ratio for a reason, right? We want to be pulled into an experience. And the, so the 235 movie experience is very, very different than just, you know, having just 16 by nine only. And the great thing about doing the, the 235 with a zero edge and the Epson laser projectors is this, you buy a 235 aspect ratio black diamond, we'll throw in a 16 by nine right in the middle for free. <laughs> You're very clever. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. We need. A, we can't forget the the, right, we'll the standard here. On this okay. one, sorry, sorry. There's a lot in these. So there's two of them. There's a uh, there's oh, the LS ten thousand, and there's the LS the little brother we call the ninety six hundred E. Just one quick point on that. The LS ten thousand has all the stuff I described and like so much more that I'm sure I failed terribly today. But <laughs> but uh, day one three, of the three babies. Day three. Important points that I cannot forget is it's got four K enhancement. Whoa. So um so you know it's got super resolution and detail enhancement but it also has 4k enhancement and uh, and and it does two things it, it outputs raw 4k content beautifully um, but I think even more notably right now given the amount of source material that's out there is that it takes 1080p content and makes it look really good and that's a combination of not only the 4k enhancement capabilities and the processing there but also again that laser that reflective all those things that are in there so very exciting product yeah very exciting because really you really can't get 4K or the the 4K experience out of an 84 inch panel. I'm sorry, but that's like buying a 32 inch 1080p panel. It's 4K was designed for professional movie cinema houses to be 40 foot screens, not 42 inch screens. So this enhancement really if you will shines on the bigger screens. So think about a 120 inch diagonal 16 by 9 or 150 diagonal uh, 235 and again because of this 4k enhancement you can actually think it from a dealer's perspective we can actually add another row of seats closer to the screen that's always the issue of resolution was you couldn't get as close so think about it with SI think about it with Epson here at CDA 2014 check us out at screeninnovations.com